so I did some uh, some things off screen. As you can see, my money has increased a bit. Not a huge amount. And I'll tell you why. I'll explain things. Uh, I think the more the more reputation we get, the the like the different missions that we get, like I think reputation affects what kind of missions that we get. And um, I think if we have a huge amount of reputation, we start getting like <laughs> bigger and bigger missions, and and like that they're harder and more expensive to do. So it's like doing missions successfully all the time can kind of have a a, a bad result if all you really want to do is rescue kerbals and uh and go to the moon instead of like going to duna or going to jewel or whatever uh i did go into the administration building and i did this uh this thing basically uh anytime you get reputation it takes away 10 percent of of what you get and instead it gives you um a thousand uh 27 point point six one six funds uh, for every reputation uh, in that in that 10 percent so you know uh, it gives a little bit more money I probably could have gone higher on that I don't know if there's um here's we can do this that's uh we get 17,000 funds but minus 200 reputation that doesn't seem like it's worth it I actually don't know how much reputation we'd have I don't know what what the actual monetary or the actual like numerical value of this of this station is it doesn't say anywhere as far as I know. But I did a few missions. Um, is this an order? This is an order, I think. Well, no, it's not an order. Uh, I rescued a couple people. Uh, I did like I think a test or two. I did a couple of um, conduct uh, temperature surveys of Minmus and or the moon they, uh, with the satellite. So that's why we have more money. Um, I think uh, that uh, we might do this. Um, but here's what we have now. We still have uh, temperature surveys on Minmus, which were those... Um, those things that we had ages ago that I tried to do, but we didn't quite have enough fuel for. Um, we are going to do this mm -hmm. for sure when we also do this. The build new orbital station. Because that will require multiple vessels docking in order to make the orbital station. Mm -hmm. um, we are probably going to do this today. I couldn't do the uh, observational surveys of the moon. That requires a person, I think, to be in there. Can't just do it with a satellite. Uh, but we can do this. But we're going to do this. We're going to make a space station, I think. And we're going to do it in parts. We're going to have to put one part up and then another part up and dock it and then another part up, probably. So what do we need for this? I have 4,000 units of liquid fuel. I have a facility supporting at least 12 Kerbals. Okay. Antenna docking port and can generate power. And then in, in orbit. Didn't say it has to be a specific orbit, just any orbit. That's fine. And we will get 127k. We can do this. We can do this easy. Just gonna have to do it in parts. I think I have something that I was going to try to do. Uh, I was gonna try to do it in like in like one mission. We're not gonna do it. Or, you know, we're not gonna do it in, in one uh, in one mission. I don't even know where that is. I, uh, did I not save it? I might not have saved it. Uh, that's fine. Oh, here it is. Uh, that just has mech to open it. That's fine. Uh, well, we can't do that. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna make a new, a new one anyway. So, let's make the actual station part. Or at least the, the first, uh, the first station part. And that's gonna require, I think, we're gonna put a, a science station up there, I think. Uh, mobile processing lab. This has room for two Kerbals. I'm not sure if it if it counts for the uh, for the number. I think it does though. Crew capacity two. Yeah, I think it, it must count for the number. 
So basically, you put a scientist in here, and like you can transmit data to it, and they can get like get more science out of it or something like that. I'm not really sure exactly how it works. Let's put a um, another crew cab, crew cabin. Because we need uh, enough space for 12 Kerbals. We're not going to get all 12 on this particular one. We're gonna we're gonna have a docking uh, maneuver, and we're gonna have another crew capsule at some point. This will be our only mobile processing lab, though, that we put up there. Where is? There we go. Now that's what we have. Here we go. Four. Perfect. Um, let's see. Where is our? Here we go. Do we want docking port junior, or do we want big docking port? Probably one of both, to be honest. Let's, um, how much does this way? 0.105, 102. Let's do this. Put that there. Do we, um, need to push this in at all? Nah, that's fine. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and put, uh, two of these in, like this. Of course, we need some uh, power generation. Where's the uh, where's the big ass uh, unfolding one? We do have it. I'm not sure where it is. Four by two, one by six. By two. Don't we? We do have the big one, don't we? I'm like I'm I'm pretty sure that we. What is this? By the way, I feel so. I'm pretty sure that we have the big one. I just don't know where it is. Well, we can just use the smaller ones. It's not a, a big deal. Uh, we might not have the bigger one, I guess. Uh, okay, that's fine. We're going to use these. The uh, the one by sixes. We don't need them to have the cover on because this isn't ever going to... Um, you know, be... Uh, in the atmosphere again. Let's put it over here. Is that? No. There we go. Uh, we probably would do want some RCS on here, uh, so we can you know maneuver it around. Uh, do we want a docking port on the top as well, and or the bottom? I don't know how we're going to construct this. I don't know what I don't know what in, in what shape this is going to be. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put a docking port on top. Um, let's see. What else do we want? I don't know. This is enough space for six. This is like half our half our allotment already. We do want power, obviously. Uh, I wish we had the the big battery thing, but that's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't matter too much. And not put this here. Why not? There we go. Put it upside down. Apparently, that's fine. It's weird. That I had to put it upside down. We do probably want a lot of batteries uh, on here. Let's actually go ahead and put... Um, put like these. Do we want to maybe move these up a bit more towards the center? Well, we're going to dock there, so that's no, not a good idea. I don't really like the look of these batteries. I don't like that they're kind of sticking out like that. I'm not sure how I'm going to attach this to a rocket yet. Let's uh, look at RCS. Where's my RCS? There we go. Before these. 
Um, I guess we want to kind of put it near the center of mass. Probably. We don't really, I don't think we need a whole lot of turning uh, capability. We are going to have to put something on here to, to turn it around. Probably going to have to put a, um, a thingy reaction wheel on here. It's fine, we can do that. We don't even have a, uh, <coughs> a uh, thing to control it yet. For that, we're going to need something in here. We can do it from a lander can, can't we? Or a uh, one of these. This would be kind of cool. Do this. There we go. So this will be our, our control center for the... Um, for this, probably the entire space station, to be honest. But for the, at least this part. Uh, we might do the second part with a uh, with a probe instead, because I don't think a space station needs like multiple control centers. Although this did add another one crew capacity, so we're at seven crew capacity now with this. But we're gonna go ahead and go up with this. Obviously, we do need some uh, RCS fuel, don't we? Monopropellant. Any other monopropellant things? I got these monopropellant arms. Okay. Uh, let's do that. There we go. They can climb through that. So I guess uh, we will have a, another part coming off of probably here. One of these uh, two docking ports. Or hook it up to this bottom one. Okay, so this is it. Uh, let's put, I think, we have the big fairing, right? We probably want a fairing. Actually, we don't need a fairing, do we? We don't need a fairing at all. We just need a, um, a big nose cone. Do we have a big nose cone? Uh, we probably do want to put a uh, thingy, decoupler on it. God, this is a big decoupler. Put like a some simpler. Anything simpler? No, we don't really, do we? I wonder if I should turn this upside down again. Right on top of here. Uh, we do need an antenna, I forgot. I almost forgot about that. Sorry, I'm being anal about the placement of this fuel. Do I want another docking port up here, actually? What is this? This attachment point? Uh, we probably want another docking port, to be honest. There's no reason not to have a whole bunch of docking ports on this thing. Because we can always, you know, stuff. So this will be the uh, main part. We do actually need some fuel, but we think we're going to have some fuel on it. Obviously, we're going to have some fuel left over. Let's just, um, let's just go with this. We are going to put a... Oh, where is it? Get one of these on. Um, I guess. Basically, we're doing this because we want to put a uh, one of these on. We, we want to get rid of this at some point. Can I move this down? Would that be okay to do? Will it still come off? I guess we'll find out. Now we need the uh, the rocket, uh, the actual rocket part. So we need another decoupler. So we're just using couplers. It doesn't matter. We, you know, we could use docking, but we're just going to use the decoupler. 
this up so it doesn't look crappy. We're gonna strut that up probably as well. We'll strut it to the bottom. Uh, where is our big old, big old orange, orange rocket? There we go. Oh, yeah. And then main sail, I suppose. It's exp it's really expensive. This is going to be an expensive project, but um, it should be fine. Does this have uh, what's? This has a reaction wheel in it, doesn't it? It does, and it's it's actually pretty powerful. Okay, I think that I think it'll be okay. At the moment, we're just trying to get up to the required like 34, 35, 36 hundred delta V. So let us put more rockets on. Probably gonna have to use the uh, separators. Or the separate separatrons. And do I want to use more of the big ass orange things? I mean, why not? Why not? Is this <laughs> this is not this is not centered at all? Uh, uh, uh one more. Uh, is that not is it not being centered? Is it not being centered? Probably are going to at least connect this to this. But then we are going to put more mainsails? Or do we want to do skippers? Skippers are nice. Actually a bit uh, overkill. But better to have overkill. Plus, uh, if, if we end up keeping this, I don't know if we're going to keep this, but if we end up keeping this, I mean, I we're probably going to do the fuel... Um, part of the 4,000 things of fuel uh, in a different stage. We're probably going to do this in, in three stages, I would imagine. We could probably do it in two. But I'm going to do it in three. Uh, I'm looking for these. I'm looking for struts. Struts here. Right here. Up to... Here. Or there. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Um. <laughs> no. There we go. Do it that way. Uh, because we are going to have to put. We're going to put some separatrons on here. As soon as I figure out where they are. I don't want these to, um. Bump into my rocket when they when they fire. Uh, rotate. Just like lots of lots of getting the hell off. Should I offset these? Uh, and these will fire at the same time that these uh, come off. I mean, this seems fine. So basically, everything will fire, and then only once it's it's fully in orbit would I get rid of this. I don't have to get rid of this. I could leave it on. And I may leave it on, depending. How many? Because uh, how many things of fuel is this? This is like this is over half the fuel that we that we need. It's not going to be half the fuel. I don't think we actually need that much fuel. We just need to have room for it, right? No, it actually does say have. Okay, it's fine. Um. I think I think this is good. We might want some fins, and then that's it. Let's put um, let's put these on. And we're gonna save this as 
Space Station 7S. Science. Uh, mark one. 7S for seven seats, because it has seven seats. It has four, two, and one. We're going to try to launch this. Oh. There's no way to control it. But we can control it from here. Uh... So do I actually need, you know, let me put a probe on here. I'll put a probe core on here. The, uh, the nice one. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna actually sink this in. Uh, oh, I almost forgot a friggin' uh, antenna. Jeez. Uh, I don't know how heavy is this? Not very heavy. Uh, I'm, I'm always worried about off-centering things. I'm just gonna put it... to have... Oh, wait, no. That's fine. Actually, we're done. I'm going to say we need to have a cockpit. We don't need to have a cockpit. Ropes for. Of course. I'm not going to put any green goo on this one. This one um, is just going over Kerbin, and we don't really need any more, I don't think, science experiments right over Kerbin. I can put some um, thermometers and stuff in one of the subsequent stages if I really want to have stuff. Um, let's launch. Let's go ahead and go. Uh, actually, crew. Uh, we probably do want to put someone on here. Well, we can. We can. We don't need twelve kerbal, kerbals up there. We just need to have room for twelve. We'll leave this empty for now. <laughs> 